Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. To raise or not to raise the minimum wage. Opponents say upping wages would result in lost jobs, but government watchdog group Integrity Florida says not so fast. We wanted to take an objective look at the claim made by some that an increase in the minimum wage means employers will cut jobs. In short, our research found no evidence that claim is true. The group took federal Department of Labor statistics from every state in the country. The conclusion, the states that upped pay fared better than those that didn't when it came to employment. In the 25 states plus the District of Columbia, where the minimum wage has increased since January 1, 2014, job growth has actually been higher than in states where the rate did not go up. Florida, which pays 80 cents more than the federal minimum wage, saw a job growth of more than 5% over the course of the study. There is a ballot initiative for the 2016 election in Florida to raise the minimum wage. Integrity Florida's study didn't examine potential outcomes if that were to happen or if the minimum wage went even higher. The ones that raised the rate the most uh, had the most job growth, interestingly. Now, $15 or $13 or whatever, uh, you know, this report did not address. West Virginia was the only state that raised the minimum wage and didn't see employment gains. Integrity Florida says their report was funded through their own reserves, not anyone with any interest in raising pay. They also didn't take a position on whether or not it should go up. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.